It's the coral indicator, boys and girls. Let's get it. Moving on to another indicator in our illustrious new indicator profile series. Uh, we have the coral indicator, and there are many versions of this out there now. We are going over the original, even though the original is not really all that new. Now, before we get into things, understand that if you're new, uh, welcome. I uh, hope you like what you see. Now, you may not understand everything that you see, but that's okay. This is a very modernized, improved system of Forex trading through technical analysis money management, and trading psychology. So if that interests you, go to nonsenseforex.com, read that first page, watch that first video, and you will be well on your way. Now for the rest of us, the year this was created is only 2015, so not that long ago fits well within our range. This is a confirmation indicator, even though it's going to go over your chart and look like a baseline. So these types of confirmation indicators are plentiful. They are very popular. People like them. The only issue I have personally with them is that you also have to have a baseline on your chart. So it just it can get a little muddled if you're a super ADD case like me. But once you get used to it, it's not too bad. And can you use this as an exit indicator? You certainly could, and you should probably give it a try because you never know. So let's take a look at it. Now, this one is a little busy. Now, uh, something I should have probably mentioned in the previous slide is it's going to be a color change indicator. So you see the blue, you see the red, um, and you actually see a little bit of yellow in there, if you can see closely. Uh, if you're watching this on a phone, maybe not so much, but that's okay. We're going to zoom in and we're going to go over that little bit of yellow. But again, do not confuse this for a baseline. In the no-nonsense Forex trading system, you do not enter once price crosses and closes above or below the actual line. All you do is you wait for the color to change to blue for longs and red for shorts. That's it. That yellow is just a little transition period that allows you to get ready for the signal that is inevitably going to come directly after. So it's extremely simple in that regard, but let's zoom in on that yellow portion just so you can see it. So it really lasts the span of two candles, kind of one to another. I'll show you what that looks like here. You can see, let's pull the arrow up, that this yellow right here does not, is not directly under one candle. It actually connects this tail to this tail. It's more of a candle range. Now, don't get too deep in the weeds here. This should not really confuse you. Just know that it's going to connect the bottoms or tops of two candles, and then your very next one is going to be your entry signal. I don't know why this indicator bothers doing this. It just seems completely unnecessary, but there it is. As long as you know what it does, and what comes right after, then you're going to be fine. So pretty cut and dry minus that one minor thing. Um, now it's time to go ahead and test these before we do that. Understand that if you don't like the way we test, then go find your own way to test. Uh, the important part is that we made you aware of something you may not have been aware of before. And just know what you're also going to get down below in the description. You're going to get a link to my automation blog that shows you how to test these things yourself on the MT4 Strategy Tester. There's a video embedded within that blog. You're also going to get the blog for the Coral Indicator that goes super deep into everything you may ever need to know and will show you the tweaked settings that I do not show you on this video. And then, as always, a place where you can download this yourself. So, without further ado, let's get to the test. We always start with the Euro USD, and pretty good. Um, that is not a bad place to start right there. And also notice the amount of trades went up. You just have to decide if you're comfortable with that. But again, to change this from minus 10% to 9.18% is pretty good. And these tweaks I'm talking about are actually over here. So when you go to the blog, that's where you will find them. I still get questions on this. 4-hour, also pretty solid across the board, um, but just not as good as what you would see here, but a higher win rate. So you judge for yourself on that. Moving over to gold, also very nice, even nicer after the tweaks. 12% is a great place to start on the daily. And the 4-hour, which has kicked our butt, 
on the Syndicator Profile series, got pretty tamed after the, the tweaks with an 11% gain. Now over to Bitcoin. Um, instead of gold being the place where things get interesting, Bitcoin is where things get interesting. Look at this starting point. All you crypto traders out there, and I know there's a lot of you, because my analytics don't lie. <laughs> you guys are out there. That's why we show you this. Almost 20% is a great place to start. Now, your win rate absolutely sucks, but you guys know how well Bitcoin moves. So if you can get used to not winning as much, but making a lot when you do win, then that's really important. And I guess kind of springboarding off of this, the lesson I would like to impart with you is all of you experienced no-nonsense Forex traders. You remember back when I said back when I showed you how to back test one indicator that shooting for a win loss ratio of something like 60% was a really good starting point and make no mistake it is but that's because I was showing you how to do everything by hand and when you do that you don't know what the ROI is going to end up being so you need to start from somewhere and unless you want to spend the next 10 to 15 years of your life testing 10,000 indicators by hand, you have to find a way to filter them out. And that was the best way to do it. But one of the things we have learned through doing the indicator profile series is even indicators with very poopy win-loss ratios can give you something really nice. So it is probably in your best interest to A, still test by hand if you want to, and maybe have not such a high criteria that we had before, or B, just test your indicators the way we do here. Because in the end, it's this that matters. But you don't have this advanced knowledge ahead of time when you do it by hand, so this is really all you have to go by. As I have said in previous indicator profile videos, I have absolutely missed out on a bunch of really good indicators by doing it this way. But if I didn't do it this way, then this YouTube channel would never exist, and I would still be testing out indicators. So lesser of two evils for sure. We're going to keep these going every week, and we've got a great podcast that goes on on the weekends. So if you want to be alerted to that, subscribe, hit the bell, subscribe anyway. You know, it helps the old YouTube algorithm. It makes more people aware. You became aware of this channel because other people hit the like button, they hit subscribe, they hit the bell. So pay it forward. But in the meantime, also get out there and test, trade, improve, become an amazing trader, and go get it.